guys welcome back to world illuminator 11 i hope you're all doing well today and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if you are new to the channel a really warm welcome to you really glad to have you up on the channel so we are going to do um an energy check-in it's friday we're moving into the weekend we're going to see what's happening with the divine masculines and the divine feminines and also just a reminder that this is the last sort of weekend before we move on to the 14th valentine's day and if you're wanting to get some messages from your divine masculine um drop me an email and you know because i will be doing them this weekend i won't be able to do like monday on, and tuesday but i will be able to do saturday and sunday so if it's something that you're wanting for yourself for less than half the price of my um of my personal readings then um do drop me an email either today or, or saturday or sunday okay uh, but the sooner you drop me the email the better as well by the way okay so thank you angels let's see what messages are coming through for everyone we are bringing in today the right away tarot and we'll see what messages are coming through thank you angels what's happening with the divine masculines what is happening with the divine masculines what is happening with the divine masculines what's happening with the divine masculines what's happening with the divine masculines what do we need to know Okay, and then what's happening with the Divine Feminines? Thank you, angels. What's happening with the Divine Feminines? What's happening with the Divine Feminines? What do we need to know? Anything else with the Divine Feminines there? Right, and these ones. Okay, and then also, um, I use this deck for the Divine Masculines in the Divine Masculine message. Really beautiful messages of guidance, so I'm being guided to use this as well. So thank you, angels. For the Divine Feminines, what do we need to know? What messages are coming through and we'll do also another message for the divine masculine as well uh, from this deck okay so we've got that one and then we are also going to bring in some guardian angel inspiration messages and thank you angels what messages are coming through for the journey what messages are coming through for the journey from this deck what messages are coming through for the journey what messages are coming through for the journey what messages are coming through for the journey Okay, so we will do a message for the Divine Feminine as well. Wow. Okay, so that's for the Divine Feminine. Um, what else is coming through for the Divine Feminine? So, right. And um, and and that's it for the Divine Feminine. That's, that's okay. We'll do this one for the Divine Masculines as well. This is the breaking out of the matrix. So thank you, angels. What messages are coming through for the Divine Masculines? What messages are coming through for the Divine Masculines? breaking out of the matrix wow okay so that's why i was being guided to do it that way right okay so get these ones and pick them up right okay and then we'll bring in some messages as well from your divine masculine using divine masculine messages to divine feminine so thank you angels what does the divine masculine want to say to the divine feminine today what does the Divine Masculine want to say today to the Divine Feminine? Wow. What is it? That card is the Throat Chakra card that really jumped out of the way. So this is about wanting to open up and, and tell you exactly how they feel. So it's a Throat Chakra that really jumped up and um, <laughs> there were two together. Throat Chakra and I secretly watch you. So, you know, this is about them wanting to move forward and speak their truth about the way that they feel and also letting you know that they're secretly watching you somehow you may not even be aware of this you know because they're doing it secretly but they are watching you somehow you know whether it is actually checking in with other people who may know about you checking you out on social media whatever it is they're letting you know that they're secretly watching you and they really jumped out as well so let's see the cards that have come out so the first card that we've got here so We've got, um, this is the nine, this is the nine of swords. And that's that card about, um, no, this is the eight of swords. This is the eight of swords. And that is sort of the card about feeling trapped and, you know, sort of, uh, fears and being in the mind too much, you know, a lot going on. So they are feeling trapped in, I feel in the situation that they're in, they're wanting to get out of this, you know, and the way that, um, the person sort of has the blindfold around the eyes and then sort of, you know, all around them, uh, over the arms and stuff. It's like really not knowing how to get out of a situation. When you look at that, it's like, you know, they are sort of 
trapped in this place where they just don't they can't even see how they can get out of the situation and they don't they don't know how to actually do it that's what i'm really getting with this you know they are in this place within their life right now where they're feeling trapped, whether it's just in their own mind and their fears or things that are actually happening in their 3D world. And they just feel like they don't know how to get out of it. They want to get out of it, but I'm getting the energy coming through today with this card is that they are in this place of not knowing how to get out of it. You know, they are kind of trying to behind that blindfold, trying to think and see and what can I do and all this. So it's like being in the mind is all too much but they are not quite getting the sort of clarity just yet about what to actually do to get out of the situation. But it is something that they can work through, especially the more they can quieten their mind because I feel it's a lot to do with being in the mind too much. What do I do? Well, you know, all these sort of things happening and fears also coming up, you know, insecurities and all these things. And then they feel like they don't know which way to go. They don't know what to, you know, to do, how to actually actually find a way out of the situation or to see a way out of the situation. So I feel there's a lot of being in the mind too much and worries, a lot of feeling trapped in the situation that they may be in, in their own 3D world, just because they can't quite see the way out. But this is all to do with things that they need to work on within themselves to be able to find their way. But the cards that have also come out, so we've got here the page of cups and the page of cups really is that about them wanting to move forward to communicate that's also powerful when we had the throat chakra cards that really jumped out so they have this love for you they may be in this situation where they're sort of lost in the fears and all these things going on for them and feeling trapped in whatever situation they're in but they have that cup of love they want to move forward they want to communicate you know that's why the throat chakra card came out and this page of cups is about coming in with that message of love as well so they are showing you that they want to move forward to tell you how they feel we also have the knight of cups so again this is about wanting to move forward you know they have this love for you it's really powerful that two of these cards have come out you know they may feel be feeling trapped in their own head or in the situation but when it comes to that love the love is there and they're holding that cup of love and they want to move forward to communicate and they want to bring you that cup of love to tell you exactly how they feel and you know and this is about wanting to take off the blindfold you know they it's, it's like when it comes to the love that's what i'm getting thank you angels when it comes to the love the blindfold is off you know they can they know that they have this cup of love for you but it is when it comes to whatever situation that they're in things that they need to sort out in their life that's where they feel like the blindfold is there but when it comes to wanting to move forward to tell you of that love it's like they can see clearly they know that this is what they want to do you know because that that uh, sort of sh um you know mask and shield thing is is up when it you know so they can see where they want to go when it comes to this love and that's moving forward towards you but they are just sort of trapped in the situation with their own mind in their own fears and in whatever is going on in their 3d world but they are going to move forward to tell you how they feel and you know the, you're being shown here there's hope for the future for the divine masculines it's like you know they're going through a time of healing as well right now where they are you know even with all these sort of fears and things happening for them it's all part of their own growth and and you know and learning but also there is hope they're going through healing and that is going to bring in hope for the future so you're being shown that there is a, that hope coming in for them to move forward to you you know when they're ready when they let go of all these things that they're still feeling trapped in so that they can come forward to tell you how they feel so really powerful the cards that have come out for you the divine feminine so the first card that we've got here we've got the hierophant and this is the card of you walking your spiritual path you know continuing to keep moving forward on your higher path i think that card came out in a different deck sometime this week as well that's about you continuing to walk your path with the creator you know and really trusting that the more you are doing that on that journey of unconditional love with the creator that is going to bring in all the things that you desire it's going to bring in even that love that you desire because these are like twins in a way 
you know so it will bring that in as well but it's about you continuing to focus on just your path you know that path of learning unconditional love releasing the fears walking your path with the creator so this is about you walking your spiritual path and you know being like committed to doing that for yourself to being on mission to doing the things that you love to raising your vibration to living your life in joy that's all part of you walking your spiritual path and letting go of things of the past the next card that has come out for you the divine feminine the devil has also come out so maybe there's some temptation that is coming in for you you know so maybe some fears as well the devil is also about the ego bringing in certain fears you're being asked to release that know that as you are on this path you have protection and love from above you know so there may be some fears the ego trying to come in to bring you certain fears about maybe your divine masculine is not moving forward or whatever it is it could be to do with other things it's about releasing that just know that it's the ego trying to play tricks on you let go of any fears any sort of worries and just trust that as you're walking this path with the universe all is well and you are protected the next card that has come out we've got the lovers so you know, you are being shown that that love is there. It is protected. Your divine masculine has that love for you. They want to move forward to communicate. And this is a love that comes from and is over overlooked by the creator is a divine love so you know at the right time you will be able to come together so it's about really just trusting that it is all falling into place as it is meant to the last card that came out we've got here the five of wands and this is really also about you maybe you may having some inner conflict maybe there's something that is happening in your life right now that is where the ego is bringing in certain fears that's what i'm really getting because we have the devil card and we also have the five of of, of of swords for you the divine feminine so you know it's about you sort of being in the place of letting go of all that fear really sort of knowing that everything is going to be okay so release any fear and you know and keep standing strong on your path and you know and letting go of anything that tries to take you off your path that's what i'm really getting with that and then the cards that came out for the divine masculines from the um breaking out of the matrix so quite a lot of these came out and it says release any anger or unforgiveness from your heart mind and soul let go of any stale emotions and attachments invest in yourself and your well-being to ensure that you're functioning at your highest potential so this is the cards that nine of swords cards that they have that's about being lost in their own anger unforgiveness you know maybe towards themselves in relation to things that have happened with you things that have happened with other people they are they're needing to release this so this can keep them lost in their own mind in their own fears because they need to work on releasing this you know let go of any still emotions and attachments so that they can invest themselves in their own well-being that's about looking after themselves when they're lost so much in the mind and feeling trapped in all that you know they don't they get into a place where they're not investing so much in 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 loving themselves and doing stuff for themselves so you know they're needing to release all that so that they can function at their highest potential and they're working on doing that there is hope for the future they will get through it work on mastering your mind so really powerful don't allow it to play tricks on you so that is exactly the energy that was coming through with this card it is their mind that is sort of playing tricks on, on, on them. You know, they're feeling trapped in their own mind. Like they can't see how to get out of, you know, the situation that they're in because they, they, they are in their mind too much. You know, they feel like their arms are tied. They're trapped in this situation. And that's because they're trapped in their own head. So that's the message. Work on mastering your mind. Don't allow it to play tricks on you. So I really feel this is what they're needing to work on releasing right now so that they can be able to actually see clearly and you know and realize that it's just them who needs to take off that band that is sort of around their arms to free themselves from that situation that they're in okay the next card that has come out is seek peace and tranquility in your life through quiet contemplation and inner reflection you'll be able to weather any and all storms that may come your way so, you know, this is also about wanting that peace, being having peace from their own mind and, you know, and that tranquility and 
when they do that, then it will help them to find answers, to gain clarity, to find a way out of whatever situation that they, they may feel that they're trapped in. So they need to find more inner peace. And I feel that they're working on this. That's why we had that hope for the future, the star card that came out. That's about healing. That's about them going through these things so that they can release them and then be able to move forward. So there is a healing that's happening for them that is there to then help them them to be able to come out of being in their mind too much and let go of all those fears and worries the next card that has come out is profound healing is occurring you're releasing old patterns mindsets and ways of being your inner work has brought you here so you're being shown that there is healing happening for the divine masculines they are in this place where they're working on releasing the conditioning the programming the old patterns old habits and all these things you know old mindset and the, the way that they've always been going through this time of rebirth we had the card come out with them as well the other day so you know they are in this place of going through transformation and change when it comes to their own life and they are going through a healing and that is what is going to help them to take off that blindfold to take off that band that's around their arms to free themselves from their own mind from their own situation whatever that situation is that they feel trapped in so that they can be free to move forward towards you choose to look at situations and circumstances from a higher perspective let small annoyances and upsets pass you by so again this is about learning to change the way that they approach to certain things you know things that used to anger them before they are learning to let all those small things and upsets just pass them by so they are going through a time of healing for themselves as well right now that's why they may still be feeling that there's that blindfolds around them because they have to go through this healing first so that they can release all these things that have come up so that they can be able to then move forward step more into who they truly are and move forward towards this life with you and the cards that came out for them really powerful be gentle with yourself so during this time that they're going through healing they are also learning to be gentle with themselves to love themselves to be there for themselves you know to not be so hard on themselves when they're feeling lost and trapped and not knowing what to do you know and to be gentle with themselves when they're in their mind too much so i feel they may be getting guidance to spending a bit more time in nature as well re, uh, sort of having some solitude time time to rest and you know even if they are in their mind too much it's it's like they are learning to be gentle with themselves as well and not sort of be on each on their own case and you know be patient as well with themselves and not be and that is powerful because that came out for the divine masculine about being patient with themselves um, twice in two different decks in the reading that I did for the Divine Masculines to check that out. So there is also about being gentle with themselves. Take your foot off the gas and don't push yourself so hard. If you need to rest, then take a break. So that's it, you know, not pushing themselves so hard about how do I do this? How, you know, they just need to take a bit of a rest. The world won't fall apart if you nap. Renew, dear one, you are a treasure. Be, be gentle with yourself. So they, maybe they're working hard in their work as well. It's the weekend. They may be taking some time to rest. So that's the message that's coming through. It's about looking after themselves as well and being gentle with themselves. The cards that came out for you, the Divine Feminine. So the first one we've got here, reconsider your commitments. Yes, no, 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 yes. And so that's the message that's coming through. And it's also powerful because the message that came through in um, the calendar for the uh, for February self-love was also about, you know, saying I can't attend if you're invited to a certain, a set, um, like, like a certain, um, you know, social event, maybe this weekend, being there to look after you. What is your body telling you? What do you need to do for yourself? You know, always put yourself first. So reconsider your commitments. Have you piled so much on your plate that there's little room for you? Identify what truly matters and graciously decline the rest. There's a universe of meaningful opportunities on the other side of no. In fact, 
every no makes space for the perfect yes. Your freedom is closer than you think. So you're being reminded that your freedom is actually closer than you think. You can give yourself that freedom. And, you know, maybe you've piled up so many things and saying, I'll do this, I'll help you out with this, I'll do this, you know, and it's so much and you've been busy all week. That's the message. Identify what truly matters and graciously decline the rest. Maybe you've said, yes, I'll come to the party or, you know, some social gathering, but you are feeling that you need to be there for you. And it says here, yeah, you know, so look at those things commitments and prior and prioritize and see what matters and decline the rest it is okay for you to say no there's a universe of meaningful opportunities on the other side of no so when you say no it will actually bring you in even better things and it will help you to actually make space as well for the perfect yes the other card that came out is breathe deeply so you're being asked to breathe deeply maybe we had that um devil card the ego coming up may and you know that is about you just breathing through this whatever it is that may be going on breathe deeply through it breathe big let it all in expand your fabulous belly who cares if your jeans feel too tight here's i here's an idea buy a roomier pair deep full breaths invigorate you they release sadness and allow ecstasy to flood in pause Inhale a long, slow, big, delicious breath. Exhale. Remember, whenever the going gets tough, take a deep breath and trust that you are capable of greatness. What a beautiful message. So whatever you may be going through, maybe there's sadness coming up that you need to work on releasing. That may be the ego bringing in some fear and sadness. Whatever that is, work through it. You know, just really work on through it and breathe through it and release it. That's the big message that's coming through. So, you know, just let your belly out and expand your belly. Who cares if your jeans are tight? Buy bigger ones is the message coming through there. But just make room for you to breathe. It will help you to release anything that you may be holding on to and to feel better in yourself as well. And remember, when the going gets tough, take a deep breath and trust that you are capable of greatness because you are. You know, you are a powerful and grateful uh, and great divine being. So, you know, you are capable of greatness and whatever you may be going through, this too shall pass so that you can be able to move forward. And then the cards that came out for the journey. So always be your true authentic self is your superpower. So, you know, this is what both of you and your divine masculine are working towards being your true authentic selves. They are working on releasing all those fears and the, being in the mind too much. That's all the ego that stops them from being their true authentic self. It is their superpower. It is your superpower as well. So in everything that you do, always believe, um, uh, uh, always, well, what was it? Always be your true authentic self. Only hold on to what aligns with your highest truth. So you're being asked to, as you walk your path, only hold on to the things that align with your highest truth. If anything needs to, you need to let go of it. This is what you need to do. No, 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 no. If it's not aligning with your highest truth, let it go. That's the big message that's coming through. And your divine masculine is also working through letting go of the things that are not aligned with their highest truth, with, you know, when it comes to fears and everything, let go of all that no longer, let all that no longer serves you and needs to go fall away. So, you know, this is about letting it all go. And that's what they're working through. And for you as well, you know, whatever is not aligned with your highest truth, let it go, breathe through it, release it. The last one, you are worthy of all the amazing things in life. Believe it. So, you know, you're both, aware, uh, you are both, worthy of all the amazing things in life but you have to believe it and know that there is hope for the future it will all come in whatever it is that you're desiring you know it's not just about the love it's about other things as well to do with your life you're worthy of all that believe it okay and then the cards that have come out for you the divine feminine your positive thoughts are bringing your desires into reality so keep your thoughts positive this message came out in the february self-love reading as well about staying positive you know the more positive you are the more that is bringing in the things that you desire so stay positive you're always co-creating with the universe you will get there there is no need to rush one day at a time so you're being shown you will get there 
you know, wherever it is that you're wanting to get, you will get there to your dreams, you know, the things that you are desiring for your life. And there is no need to rush one day at a time. Your reunion is nigh has also come out. So, you know, you may be feeling this and, you know, there's the chance that your divine masculine is wanting to move forward towards you to tell you exactly how they feel. Your reunion is nigh. So really beautiful. Okay, and then we are going to finish off with the messages from your Divine Masculine. So we had the throat chakra already. They're wanting to move forward to tell you how they feel. And they're also saying to you, I secretly watch you. So they are watching you in one way or another because they're wanting to be with you. And they're also saying, I'm taking responsibility towards our connection. So right now, in the way that they are working on themselves, the things that they're doing, they're taking responsibility towards this connection with you because they want this life with you. They are also saying to you, we are one. So, you know, they know that you and them are one. And this is just a message for you to remember as well. They're saying to you, we are one. And to finish off, the last cut is, I am making a decision towards our union. So this is really powerful. They are taking responsibility towards your connection. And they are also saying to you, I am making a decision towards our union. So they are moving forward towards this life with you. There is hope for the future. It is all coming in. So trust and have faith and believe it. It will all come in at the right time for you. I hope you have a great day, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.